Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. I've got an email in here from uh, Aviv. I hope I'm saying that right. He says, uh, I was hoping to get help with my futuristic new lens. That's the heading of the email. He says, I'm a kind of a beginner photographer. I have a Nikon D3200 camera and two lenses. 18 to 55 and 55 to 200. Uh, my 55 to 200 is not working well at this time, and I wanted to buy another one instead of this one. I saw a lot of reviews, and some of them were yours. I wanted to ask him to consult with you about some lenses. The first one is the Nikon 28 to 300, and uh, which was supposed to replace both my lenses, but the disadvantage is that this lens is heavy, big, and I heard that the quality is not the best in full zoom. The second option is the Nikon 55 to 300, which I heard is nice, but I have to uh, be with two lenses all the time. I'm not sure if the quality is better than the first one in full zoom or not. The third lens is the 7300, which is good, but is not cover the range between 55 to 70, and I saw your review between this one and the 55 to 300. So after a lot of talking, my question is, what in your opinion is better for me, or if you have even another option that is new to consider? Thanks a lot. Hope to hear from you soon, Aviv. Well, thanks very much for your question, Aviv. And first of all, the 28-300 to 300 is actually a pretty decent lens. You're always going to sacrifice a little quality when you get a uh, wide zoom range. So from 28, super wide for a full frame, to 300. Um, yeah, it's not going to be as good as primes or even zooms that are uh, either more telephoto zooms or more standard zooms because it's covering a much bigger range. That said, it's still a very good performer. A lot of people really like this lens. A lot of pros will carry it as their um, kind of go-to walk-around lens. Um, the big thing is, though, it is a little big and heavy for a D3200. Um, this, this lens is built for um, full-frame cameras. So your 610, your 750, 800, 810, 850, um, those type of cameras. What I would recommend for you, if you want an all-around zoom like that, is an 18 to 2 or even preferably an 18 to 300. There are the, those two options available. So there's an 18 to 200 and an 18 to 300. Those are DX lenses built for your D3200. Really good walk-around lenses. Same type of thing, though. You're going to sacrifice a little quality as opposed to primes or a zoom that doesn't cover as much range. Your, your second option there, the 55 to 300, is... Um, not a bad lens at all, uh, but again, it's probably going to be a little bit better optically at the long end because it doesn't care, cover that full range like an 18 to 300. You sacrifice convenience, um, but with, with not having the 18 to 300, 18 to 300, and probably gain a little bit of optical quality. The 70 to 300 is a very nice lens as well, and um, the Again, the difference there is that you're probably, I think, with the 70 to 300, it's probably very close to the 55, but I'm thinking the 70 to 300 is a little bit better on optical quality. Again, it's not covering quite the same range. Um, between those two, it's probably going to be very, very similar, though. Um, what I would suggest is if you had your heart set on the 28 to 300, look at an 18 to 200 or an 18 to 300. Smaller and lighter gives you that same range actually more range on a D3200 because you got 18 at the wide end and it's designed for a DX camera to be less expensive too. So that's what I would do. Let me throw it back to you guys. What would you do in this situation? Would you go with one of the other options? Would you go with an 18 to 200 or an 18 to 300 like I'm suggesting? Out of the two, I would go with the 18 to 300 just for the sheer convenience. If you get a better deal on the 18 to 200, that's fine too. But let me know what you guys would do. Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Aviv. Always great to hear back from you guys. Get your opinions when our viewers are trying to figure out uh, what lens or what piece of gear to purchase. Thanks for your question again, Aviv, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.